In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, my sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. We prepare our hearts for our communion. We ask the Lord to open our eyes, open our hearts, open our ears to receive Him. And with this, we call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, there is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willing, I have a recompense, but if unwilling, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? that when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. Although I am free in regards to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that the runner in the stadium all runs in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, 
I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How, How lovely is, is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the court of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. How lovely, How lovely is your dwelling place, place, Lord mighty God. God. Even the sparrow finds a home and swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altar, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely, How lovely is your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty God. God. Bless they who dwell in the house, continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How, How lovely, lovely is, is your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty God. God. For sun and the shield is the Lord God. Grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good things from those who walk. In sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, Every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You, hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So, once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Jim Cowan made a beautiful song, beautiful reminder of our blindness, our deafness. It goes like this. Lord, take the blindness from my eyes, all my arrogance and pride. Fill my vision with your light. Lord, take the blindness from my eyes, all my arrogance and pride. Fill my vision with your light. When Jesus gathered his disciples in the account of the gospel of today, Jesus reminded them of the importance of looking, of treating one another, not with our own standard, 
but with the standard of Jesus. Since Sunday pa nga, eh, ano? doon sa ating gospel, it is the right way of correcting, the right way of treating our brothers and sisters. Here, Jesus is asking us into this gospel to open our eyes and use it rightly for the sake of relationship, for the sake of leadership, and for the sake of becoming a true witness of Christ. Sa atin pa naman, sa panahon ngayon, napakabilis kumalat ang isang pamumuna. Isang pamumula. O kaya meron tayong tinatawag ngayon, eh, yung pang-ookray. Bashing. Na pag may nakitang ginawa ang isang tao, O kaya naman, pag may nakita ang isang larawan na ipinost ang isang tao, mayroong mga pumupuri, but at the same time, para bang expected na na, ah, may pupo na dyan, may ookray dyan, no? may bashers na yan later on. And sadly, marami sa atin ang mahirap, no? Hindi man tumanggap, kundi humarap sa mga ganitong pagpuna. At yun na nga ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, sino ba tayo? No? Parang yan yung TV show na bawal ang judgmental. Ano? Yung may mga tanong that will lead na ano nga ba ang taong ito? Ito ba ay um, ayon sa aking paniniwala o pananaw sa Kanya. At sa community life, ito ang sinasabi ng Panginoon na, well, hayaan yung ang inyong pananaw, ang inyong pagtaya, ang inyong pagtingin, pam- pamumuna siguro, sa inyong kapwa, ay naaayon sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. To open our eyes, eyes filled with the light of Christ to open our eyes, eyes removed of biases and judgment, eyes that will tell us that you see the beauty of the other person instead of default, instead of finding what is wrong to our brothers and sisters. Well, I believe that Jesus allows us to see also other people, but more importantly is to help them grow, to help them realize the presence of God in in their lives. And so today may our prayer be the part of that song I just sang a while ago, that may God take the blindness from my eyes. Lord, remove my arrogance and pride. And Lord, fill my vision with your light. Amen. By his words and works, Jesus taught us the forgiving mercy of God, which seeks to save and not to condemn. May we follow his example as we pray to the Father. Our Father, make us to be like you. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the church may undertake the road that leads to forgiveness, justice, truth, and love. We pray. Our Our Father, Father, make make us us to be be like like you. 
that honest and lowly citizen may not be mislead by false and ambitious leader, we pray, Our Father, Our Father make, make us, us to be like, like you, that we may refrain from passing judgment or condemning other people on the account of their weakness and shortcomings, we pray, our Father, Our Father, make, make us, us to be, be like, like you. That the sick may experience the forgiving love and healing of the Lord. We pray. Our, Our Father, Father, make us to be like you. That the dead may obtain mercy from the judgment seat of God. We pray. Our, Our Father, Father, make us, us to be like you. For all of us, that we may refrain healthy and strong, whether of this ordeal, physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual, may we always be protected from the contact of the virus, giving in to fear and panic. We pray. Our Father, make, make us, us to be, be like, like you. you. In silence, let us pray for other intention. We pray, our, our Father, Father, make, make us, us to be, be like, like you. you. Lord, open the eyes of all people who have lost their way in life. By your grace, lead us back to you who loves everyone. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your words through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate with the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and, our, and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
light of power and might. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, on high. Blessed is he. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Onesto, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all that have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, St. Arnold Jansen, St. Joseph Renadimitz, our patrons here in the Philippines, our beloved saints, Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calinsod, and those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're ready here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer for Racho Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our needs to, to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find, find cure cures, of this disease and stem its transmission. transmission. Protect, Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with confidence and, and compassion. compassion. We, we pray, pray for those afflicted May, May they, they restore restored to, to health soon. soon. Protect those, those who care for them. them. Grant eternal, eternal rest to those who have died. Give, give us grace in trying times to work for the good of all and to help those who need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. We fly for your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious, blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadamitz. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the goodness of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.